Hello and welcome back to my craft room. Um, I've got an invitation for you today. Um, I've been promising to do um, a live stream again for a while because the first one I did to celebrate my 500 subscribers went really well. It was really fun. Lots of people joined in and um, and it's nice to kind of meet everybody. So I've been meaning to do another one um, and this time I'm going to do trash dolls. Um, you might have seen a previous post uh, showing my trash dolls but I'm going to show you again now. Um, and I'm also going to let you know what you'll need to have if you want to join in and make some trash dolls with me. So, oh, hang on, first of all, <laughs> I should tell you when it is. So it's going to be next Sunday, the 5th of June. I'm going to do it from 2pm to 4pm UK time. Um, I'm hoping that's not going to be too early for anybody in the US that wants to join in or too late it's going to be quite late for anybody in Australia there was one lady in Australia that mentioned that last time it would have been about three o'clock in the morning for her so so anyway um I thought that's kind of middle and, and yeah and if you can't watch it live you can always catch up on it later so if you want to join in with me first of all let's just show you in case you didn't see that previous one what my trash dolls are so there's this is one of my favorites my twiggy one I think I probably need to bring this down a little bit um and I call them trash dolls because <laughs> they like little art dolls they'll they'll stand on a shelf or whatever you can put kind of motivational words and things on them um and they're made up of old junk this is an old cotton sp uh, ribbon spool this was some kind of box probably stock cubes or something in there I don't know this was just rolled up paper um that's probably broken bit yes off of a ribbon spool I've used up some buttons there because I've got massive hundreds of buttons and you can use other bits and bits and pieces little doodads you might have hoarded away like we all do um this is another one so some of them just need mending now I've had them shoved away in an old box in the garage for ages they need to put them back together um, I, for these I went um, online and searched for vintage faces I think I put in vintage faces and I spent hours trawling through finding images that I could use um, I also cut some out of magazines like this one came out of a magazine I can't find the file that I kept with all these faces so I, could, so I couldn't just print them off again and to be honest I didn't feel like spending hours today doing that so I have gone on to Etsy and bought some print printable faces this time so you just download so this is the, most, this is the ones I've chosen <laughs> these are actual doll faces and um, you get um, I think it's six different sheets with them in different sizes so I can turn some into little um, pendants for jewellery and things as well I love creepy dolls a lot of people hate them and I love creepy clowns as well <laughs> so I'm gonna I'm gonna be using these but as I say you could cut faces out of magazines or whatever um, so here are some of the other things you'll need I'm just gonna look this is another one of my favorites which needs mending and and then there were some like this that I didn't get around to finishing so my idea was on oh, that one needs legs of some kind this one I gave her wheels and she will stand <laughs> there we go she actually will stand and um, but what I wanted to do was put something fun inside so um I'll, I'll, some of them some of, I will start some off next week and I will finish some of these as well I might even go on for longer than a couple of hours so uh, we'll see but certainly I will start at 2 2 p.m UK time and um, I will go on to it go on to at least four let's have a little this was ugh, I can't remember where I think this was on a gift or something I thought I'd make a nice hat <laughs> so let me show you the sort of basics of what you would need and please don't think that you've got to have everything that I've used you can make this work with whatever you've got here's a little <laughs> I need more space here's a little tray where I've collected up some um, boxes that I can use um, so that was a, a pill box um, here's my aspirin inhaler box they're, they're a really good size and shape uh, a little um oh this is in my lovely care package that Johnny sent me it had, it had little tablets and you drop into water and it makes it all 
cucumber flavoured. It was lovely. Um, so yeah, so that would work. And I could actually use, uh, where's it going? I could just use the inside of that and have another one with, I do like the idea of having a space inside that I can fill with something. Or I might even choose to leave it like that and make a, a feature of it. As I say, you can adapt to whatever you've got. This is just little gift boxes that actually I made up myself out of uh, pattern paper when I was using up my paper, pattern paper stash. And I think I put some boxes like this in an advent calendar. Um, this one I could use and make like that, or I could cut it in half and use it as two bodies there. Empty cotton reels could be legs or necks. Um, these are actually in the middle of uh, rolls of ribbon. I've got two or three of those here somewhere. Oh, that's one of the ribbon spools that it was in amongst my trash drawers. I don't think it ever got used. Oh, here's a, <laughs> here's a cheese. And again, it could be used. I could, I could make it into two, couldn't I? And that could be a head or a body. Um, jar lids. Uh, oh, there's, there's um stock cube box. Um, little matchboxes, smaller version of the ones we made ourselves. This is an old uh, jewellery box. Again, I could use both of them separately and then I can put something inside. There's my coffee pod box, toilet roll middles, <laughs> so anything like you can make anything work, really. So that's why I call it trash dolls. Basically, mm -hmm. I could go through my recycling bag, empty it onto this desk and turn it into trash dolls. <laughs> that's my idea. So you also will need glue. I've got cheap PVA glue here and that's for putting the base layer on. So you can see here I've glued, I've torn up um, book pages and glued them on first that's the first thing I did close up the box and then um, cover it with a layer of uh, book paper so I've got this one ready so this is one that I will be turning into um, like an art journal but I will take out some of the pages to allow for, for thickness and um, so I never waste those pages that I take out I will use them for stuff like this so that's that but you could use um, any text out of um, out of a newspaper or magazine. Obviously it needs some kind of colour. Um, I think with these I used my golden paints. Now they're quite expensive paints so it's probably a bit of a waste on this really. You could just use cheap bog standard acrylic paint. The only thing is I wanted it to be something transparent so that you'd be able to see the text through. Um, or oh, another thing it'd be nice to use is pattern tissue you know that you get dressmaking patterns on I've got some old dressmaking patterns I won't ever use and I sometimes use them for stuff like this or napkins if you've got napkins you can use a layer of napkin for that would be quite pretty as well so yeah I think the reason I used the golden was because these were quite transparent and the cheap craft paints I had weren't um I might also decide to use some of these I've got some acrylic ink and this India ink I've got loads of colors in that so that'd be nice um, I think you could also use something like Distress Ink or Pigment Inks, just as long as it's something that is kind of transparent. I think you could even use like alcohol markers or something actually, um, but it might sort of damage the nibs a little bit. Yeah, so with whatever you want to use to apply colour. Um, I've also got scrap paper to use up, so I might use that to do some of the, you can see where I've cut dress shapes for these I probably used some kind of a marker to kind of accentuate the edges like that I've also added I've used uh, black ink and once I've got the um, the faces and um, uh, bodies on I've used some kind of texture stamps like I've got these these and, and I wouldn't have put them on a block or anything. I just would have bent them and kind of gone like that to give, give a kind of random effect. That's something you could you could leave out if you wanted, but I think it was just to sort of add interest. And I just enjoy doing it. Um, I probably would also use something like this just to go around the edges here. Or again, you could use a black marker or black paint. 
So that's the kind of basics. Also a strong glue. I probably will have this handy and probably my hot glue gun as well because it's quick and it's strong. Um, but whatever you want to use. So there's so and there's my here's my faces. <laughs> I do like these. These particular these are the largest ones. I think if he'd have had a size larger, I would have gone larger. But I think these are big enough. They compare reasonably well to like that, for instance. Okay, so then that's the basis. Then you can use whatever you like to tart it up. So if you've got little doodads you've been saving, like there's this flower on here, there's scraps of lace and stuff, you can this is where you can use all these things up. So oh <laughs> I came across these. This I bought this pack, I think, in the pound shop um, for a particular project and didn't use it all. Um, so I, and you can actually paint on these with with acrylic paint. So uh, I might end up putting like a heart inside there, for instance, could work. Isn't it? Uh, so we'll see. So I'll keep those handy. I've got a whole jar of buttons and I've also got odd things like this. I cannot for the life of me remember where this came from, but I know it's something I was, I was keeping. There was a reason why I was keeping it. Um, and then these are little buttons I bought from work just because I thought they were cute. Um, they're little flock covered heart shaped buttons, so that might be nice to add. Um, little thing, all sorts of little doodads. You can just really put anything in these. Um, now, one thing actually I forgot to get ready, but I've just come across it here, is words. So you could type words, you can print them on the computer and cut them out. These I've cut from pattern paper and um, stuck on a piece of card. I've got strips like this. Now I I get when I'm doctoring old books like that, sometimes I go through a few pages and just pick out phrases that I think might be good. <laughs> Leaves from the journal of our life. And and actually with these I've stuck them onto another piece of paper to make them stronger. So you could just cut pages out of books, out of magazines, um, print them off. Or if, if like me, you used to do a lot of scrapbooking and you've got lots of <laughs> lots of paper with words on or lots of little uh, stickers with words on, this is a good chance to use those up. Um, you could put um, specific people's names on them as well, or, you know. And then, oh, I don't know about you, but this is the kind of thing I hoard because I can't throw it away. That's actually got a film in it. I think I'll just leave that there. Uh, oh, there's another. I have all sorts of things in here. So these are defunct now bulbs. But how fun would it be to, to incorporate one of these bulbs in there? It'd be good, wouldn't it? Um, I've got these little, uh, little tiny, <laughs> little tiny jars that you can actually put things in. Um, little computer pieces like this, little bits off of old motherboards and things. Oh, that that could go in there. That could be fun, couldn't it? Um, this case, this is the binding from an old book of some kind. Again, you could, you know, that could be legs or I, I don't know, a neck or um, I've got old watches in here. Oh, that's where those went. <laughs> a knob from a, a knob from a cupboard. Um, I mean, it's just, yeah, I don't even know what's, look, there's another film there. Where did that even come from? Um, just a mishmash of weird things <laughs> that I didn't want to throw away because I thought they might come in handy for something, but, you know, oh, look, these hearts, they look pretty quite good, couldn't they? Um, and you can always put something behind to kind of raise up something flat like that, or you could dangle it from a, from a piece of wire or, you know, I think probably next week will just be about put, um, doing the basic, making a few basic ones and repairing some of the ones that I've got. And, um, and then, you know, you can take your time afterwards and, oh, look at that. And, um, and add to them. So oh, there's another. <laughs> There's another drawer like that. <laughs> in here I've got old Scrabble tiles because we've got two or three Scrabble boards. Um, grief. Uh, 
alphabets there, bottle caps. <laughs> Part of an old mobile phone. Even that could be incorporated, couldn't it? You know. Oh, you could have a face peeking through that. Ooh. Mm. Um. Oh, look, it's a little uh, tiny alarm clock there. <laughs> and a poker chip. So all these kind of ridiculous things. Oh, look at that, you see? All these kind of things can be incorporated into these little kind of... They're kind of art dolls, really, I suppose. But I call them trash dolls because they are literally made out of trash. Um, I've also got under there... Oh, I've got, I'm running out of place to put anything now. <laughs> I've also got a whole box of ribbons and trims and things like that. And it's a good way to use up tiny, tiny pieces. I must remember to just dig through what I've got left from the um, bazaar pets. Because some of those little trims and things from uh, that came from India would be really good too. There's another little there. When it's just, these, just these like weird little things that you think, oh, I'm not going to throw that away. That will come in handy. <laughs> Those things. If you've got a, a drawer full or drawers full, like me, of odds and ends like that, dig them out, go through your recycling um, and uh, get it all together ready for next Sunday and um, join me and make some trash dolls. Uh, or just just join me and come in and say hi and uh, yeah it, it's always it just it was really fun last time to just feel like I'd actually kind of met people um it's why I do, it's why I do YouTube it's because it's it's a way of connecting with people and sharing what what we all love doing really so uh, yeah so if you can make it that would be great if not you can always catch up afterwards anyway um, but I hope I've picked a time that will kind of suit the majority of people that might want to join in so um I think what I have to do now is work out how to schedule the live stream and then um, I should be able to put a link to it under here and you can you can sign up so it will remind you later on. I've got to remember how to do that because my son helped me do it last time. <laughs> I'll try and do it by myself without bothering him. Okay, right. Uh, thanks very much for watching. I hope to see you next week um, and if not, I'll see you soon anyway. Bye! Uh, where's the where's the stop button?